हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक येलो रिवोल्यूशन येलो रिवोल्यूशन इज रिलेटेड टू ऑयल सीड्स एंड एडिबल ऑयल प्रोडक्शन द रिवोल्यूशन लॉन्च इन 1986-87 विथ एम टू इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एडिबल ऑयल स्पेशली मस्टर्ड एंड सिसम सीड्स टू अचीव सेल्फ रिलायंस इज नॉन इज द येलो रिवोल्यूशन येलो रिवोल्यूशन टारगेट्स मेनली नाइन ऑयल सीड्स which are classified in two categories first one is edible oil seeds which consist of crops groundnut rapeseed and mustard soya bean safflower sesame sunflower and niger while in case of non edible oil seeds category there is linseed and castor india stands on fourth position consuming oil seeds while it is having the contribution of only 7.4% of the world's edible oil production india is the largest producer of castor and sesame and second largest producer of groundnut and rapeseed mustard next to china yellow revolution in india in this revolution implantation of hybrid mustard and sesame seeds took place which increased the production of edible oil by the significant amount so there was major role played by the introduction of hybrid seeds and good varieties by which country was able to increase the oil seed production and edible oils same pitroda is known as the father of yellow revolution the growth development and adoption of new varieties of oil seeds and complementary technologies nearly doubled oil seed production from 12.6 million ton to 24.4 million tons within 10 years from 1987-88 to 1996-97 catalyzed by the technology mission on oil seeds brought about the yellow revolution so technology mission on oil seed is having the significant role in yellow revolution During yellow revolution edible oil seeds especially mustard sesame and sunflower crops were mainly focused Indian oil seed production scenario from a net importer status in the 80s to a self sufficient status during the early 90s has been popularly termed as the yellow revolution the some important points related to yellow revolution from a mere 11 million tons during 1986-87 achieved record oil seed production of 32 million tons during 2010-11 the main contributors to these factors can be assigned as the oil seeds production technology expansion in area under oil seeds price and market intervention support policy and the institutional support by the government the later experienced spectacular increase in area yield and production where is the pulses remained stagnant so because of the different strategy and formation of technology missions and oil seeds it was resulted significant impact on yellow revolution in oil seed production now to study about the technology mission on oil seeds which played important role in yellow revolution the turning point was year 1986 The annual production of oil seed crop was virtually stagnating at about 10 million tons over a span of more than 15 years. In light of considerable increase in area under oil seed crops, 
The area in 1950-51 was 10.73 million hectares, which was increased to 19 million hectares in 1985-86, even though there was no improvement in production. Till mid-80s, the growth in output also lagged far behind the growth in demand, thus forcing the government to resort to large-scale import of edible oils to bridge the demand-supply gap. Realizing the fact, the government of India appointed the Technology Mission on Oil Seeds in May 1986 with the objective to create and manage conditions that would harness the best of production of oil seeds, processing and storage technologies to attain self-reliance in edible oils in the foreseeable future, a target producing 16 to 18 million tons of nine annual oil seeds, groundnut, rapeseed and mustard, soybean, sunflower, safflower, sesame, niger, linseed and castor was fixed to substantially cut down the imports by the year 1990. Now we will go through missions of technology mission on oil seeds. The technology mission on oil seeds adopted a four pronged strategy under the four mini missions. Mini mission first was having the aim improvement of crop production and protection and technologies for realizing higher yields and profit to farmers. So this mission was focused on production and crop protection technologies and best methods to increase the yields. Second mini mission second which was focusing improvement of processing and post harvest technologies to minimize the losses and increase the oil yield from both traditional and non-traditional sources of oil. So this mission was focusing on processing and post-harvest technology. Mini mission third was having aim strengthening the input support system to ensure availability of right kind of seed, fertilizers, pesticides, irrigation, credits and to bring awareness among farmers about the potential of the farm worthy technologies through massive transfer of technology programs. So this mission was focusing on resource availability, communication, extension and technology transfers. Mini mission fourth was having the aim about improvement of post harvest operations for effective procurement handling. Disposal includes price support system to farmers and financial and other supports to processing industry. The technology mission on oil seeds started functioning as a consortium of concerned government departments and it became very successful regarding yellow revolution with the help of many government departments which can be named as agriculture research and education, agriculture and cooperation department, civil supplies, Department of Commerce, Science and Technologies, Biotechnology, Planning, Health, Irrigation and Economic Affairs. So all these government departments played very very important role in achieving the milestone of Yellow Revolution. Now to study in deep about technological mission. To achieve the Yellow Revolution, Oil Technological Mission was launched in 1986 in India. Along with the use of hybrid seeds and various other measures were also adopted which played important role in yellow revolution. There was an increase in cultivation land of oil seeds to about 26 million hectares along with the use of modern technological inputs. Providing incentives to farmers like warehousing, transportation, minimum support price and other processing facilities and resources like, like fertilizer, pesticides and irrigation also having the significant contribution. There were technology transfer programs under which there were frontline demonstrations with a view to demonstrate under real farm situations the productivity potentials and profitability of a spectrum of improved oil seed crops production technologies which were evolved by the oil seed research network in the country from time to time. On farm demonstrations were organized through various technology transfer programs of the central and state governments 
स्टेट एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड वॉलेंट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देर वर ट्रेनिंग एंड एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम्स सेवरल शॉर्ट एंड मीडियम टर्म्स ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स वर ऑर्गेनाइज एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ एक्सटेंशन फंक्शनरीज हैव बीन ट्रेंड ओवर द टाइम बाई ऑयल सीड रिसर्च नेटवर्क इन्वॉल्विंग इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर रिसर्च स्टेट एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड अदर डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द नेशनल डेरी डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड वॉज गिवन द रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ग्राउंड नट ऑयल इन गुजरात द नेशनल ऑयल सीड्स एंड वेजिटेबल ऑयल डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड वॉज एसाइंड द टास्क टू इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ नन ऑफ ऑयल सीड्स इन नॉन ट्रेडिशनल एरियाज टू पॉपुलराइज द फोर मेजर ऑयल सीड्स ग्राउंड नट मस्टर्ड सोयाबीन एंड सनफ्लावर ए प्रोजेक्ट कॉल्ड ऑयल सीड्स प्रोडक्शन थर्स्ट वॉज इस्टेब्लिश देर वर अबाउट थ्री थाउजेंड ऑयल सीड सोसाइटीज इस्टेब्लिश विथ थर्टीन लॉक फार्मर्स एसोसिएशन एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव हेक्टेयर्स ऑफ कल्टिवेबल लैंड इन ए डिफरेंट स्टेट ऑफ द कंट्री येलो रेवल्यूशन स्पेक्टिकुलरली इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ऑयल टू अचीव सेल्फ रिलायंस एंड द फैक्टर्स विच प्लेड वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल वर यूज ऑफ हाइब्रिड सीड्स लाइक मस्टर्ड एंड इम्प्रूव्ड टेक्नोलॉजीज फॉर ऑयल प्रोडक्शन इन विच टेक्नोलॉजी मिशन ऑन ऑयल सीड प्लेड ग्रेट रोल येलो रेवल्यूशन मार्क द बिगनिंग ऑफ एन इंटायरली न्यू एरा विथ फ्लोटिंग सनफ्लावर्स इन फील्ड्स ऑफ पंजाब एंड ऑल्सो एक्सेप्शनली क्रिएटेड मेनी अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड ओपनिंग्स which also helped in covering socio economic differences in the country in india the increase in oil production was mainly because of an increase in sesame and mustard oil due to the use of hybrid seeds it was first launched in 1986 87 in india with the total production of about 12 million tons oil seeds at that time which nearly doubled in 10 years to about 24 million tons now we will go through success factors in yellow revolution there were various factors which played crucial role in bringing success to the oil seeds mission and thereby yellow revolution in india first factor can be described as a strong socio economic and political will to become self sufficient in vegetable oils second is biodiversity and the matching diversity in agroecology and farming situations for various annual oil seeds crops in spite of the possibility of more prospective oil seed crops such as oil palm at that time the focus was given to annual crops nine major oil seeds like groundnut mustard sesame etc sunflower economically viable and sustainable improved oil seed production technologies were generated with the help of a strong and vibrant oil seed research networks which were coupled with encouraging financial and policy supports to research there were attractive incentives to the farmers in terms of minimum support prices and input subsidies which diverted the farmers for oil seed cultivation institutional support for the overall oil seeds research and development by public corporate and private sectors particularly the setting up of the technology missions on oil seeds by the government of india we are having the great contribution effective implementations monitoring and periodical evaluations of the technology transfer programs especially the front line demonstrations in oil seeds project we are having the significant contributions integrated effective efficient and transparent functional farmers research industry policy also interfaced with yellow revolution in 1996 97 hence achieving self sufficiency in oil production but sadly the current output of india was not meeting its current consumption so to meet the demand india was importing about 5 million tons in 2007 from many countries like argentina malaysia brazil to meet its domestic consumption requirement oil seed production in 2008 9 was about 28 million tons 
which was not in equilibrium to about 45 million tons of consumption there were gaps there was a significant fall in production of oil seeds in 2019 due to failure of monsoon and therefore there was a decrease in production to about 25 million tons yet there is a large gap between the demand supply again later achieved record oil seed production of 32 million tons during 2010-11 despite continuous efforts being to bring india again to be self sufficient no significant improvement can be observed although the same approaches are used there were used to bring the first yellow revolution earlier in india yet it cannot be achieved because of various other factors affecting it in modern india here to study the main causes of withering yellow revolution in beginning there were remarkable achievement milestone in achieving the oil seed production where the status of india was changed from importer to exporter state but the same consistency was not maintained and there were reduction shortfall in production and productivity because of various factors which can be defined as first one cultivation of oil seed crops under energy starved conditions means these crops were placed in marginal lands where the irrigation facilities and nutritive facilities was not provided and it were not maintained there were rising demand of edible oil in india but the cultivation and the production was not focused and it was not preferred by the farmers there were very very low use or no use of nutrients for cultivation of oil seed crops there were imbalanced use of fertilizers because of which the crop growth and its productivity was having the reduction there were lack of irrigation facilities and high yielding varieties of oil seed crops and there was poor adoption of improved technologies in case of oil seed production there were involvement of only a small and marginal farmers while progressive farmers were having the focus on cereal crops like rice and wheat the preference was given to grow higher profit and high yielding crops because of which these crops were not liked and it was not become popular among farmers and there were short supply of essential inputs also so these various factors caused to maintain the status of yellow revolution even the focusing all strategies so this presentation was all about yellow revolution hope this will be useful to all of you thank you very much i have given you my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar srivastava having request please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback thank you